Jan of Jan Hicks creates here. Do I look straight to you? <laughs> this is one of my worries as I set up for these videos every time, whether I have my phone straight or if I'm like spending the whole video slanted. <laughs> these are the things we worry about when we're making videos. How are you guys doing today? It is Tuesday. What's the month? January. January 28th, 1023 AM, 71 degrees and sunny here. Beautiful, beautiful day here on the gorgeous island of Oahu. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, don't have a whole lot to show you. I, you know, I think I had so many notes for my basics of cross stitch video yesterday that I have no notes today, <laughs> except one. I do have one very important one. Um, but yeah, welcome. If you are returning, you know how happy I am that you are here and that we can chat and catch up and and just have a giggle here and in the comments. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see and I hope you will come back. I hope you will subscribe and just kind of enjoy this journey with me. This is a crazy journey. Somebody asked, I think on one, I don't remember which Facebook group, um, if there were any floss tube people out there that did things other than, you know, a lot of people do the same thing. There's a lot of sales that go on and all that's good. Um, and I responded, I do very little of what everybody else is doing. So if you like it a little crazy, if you like it very different, one of my commenters commented on last week's video that I have very eclectic tastes. This is very true. <laughs> as long as there col there's color in it, right? Um, I think you'll like it here if you like any of those types of things. But anyways, I like to have fun, I like to laugh, um, and I enjoy spending my time with you. So, the important note, if you have not heard, on a very serious note, Leanne of Lost in Floss lost her life with, um, lost her battle with breast cancer this past week. Um, she has been battling it for months, I was sure she was going to beat it. You know, the the success rate, um, if that's the right word, against breast cancer these days is pretty darn good. So, um, shocked and saddened and, um, yeah, my heart goes out. Here I go. My heart goes out to Barb, her longtime friend and her partner in Lost in Floss and Leanne's family. Such a huge loss. So young. Um... Serious note, I do like to laugh, but I'm also very emotional. So just, you know, surround Leanne and her family with your thoughts and your prayers and all those good things that, that help people get through this kind of tragedy. Lots of sad things going on. Lots of happy things too. No news to add on my move to San Antonio yet. Um, we were hoping to be heading to San Antonio somewhere towards the beginning of February for the house hunting trip. That doesn't look like it's going to happen at this point. Probably more towards the middle of February, which is rather a shame. I have a friend from Maryland coming out here to visit. Well, actually her husband's coming out for a convention and she's tagging along, I think the 8th to the 16th, 8th to the 18th, somewhere in there. Um, and I really hope to, you know, meet up with her, spend some time with her, show, around, show her around a little bit while her husband's in his meetings. Um, who knows? But anyway, that's all the news that's fit to print and all that stuff. So what do we have going on in the stitchy world? I did put out a new basics of cross stitch video yesterday. If you not have you have not seen it, we are getting a little bit beyond basics. Now we're getting into, um, yesterday was, was about silk floss. Um, so yeah, we're kind of beyond the basics, building our skill set, building our knowledge of the different things that are available to you. So I hope you will check that out if you haven't already. Um, I have more on my list. I haven't checked my list yet. Um, I have the one about transitioning from Ada to even weave that I may just retitle and put in here. I'm going to do one on how to do beads, which is very easy. That's like a five minute video. <laughs> I mean, it really, really is easy. 
Um, but yeah, I feel like um, this series is moving along well, and I think you guys are all getting a lot out of it. And I am learning things as well, not only from, I do some studying on whatever topic I have coming up to fill in any gaps of knowledge that I have, because believe me, there are gaps and um, from other tips that you guys add in the comments. So I hope you are enjoying that. Stitching. You know, I don't have a whole lot to show you today. Stitching, a little bit of haul, a little bit of a shop update, and then done. So, but now you would have to be like nowhere ever anywhere at all on the social media world not to have seen this already, but I do have a fully finished item. And even if you have seen it already, I don't think you will mind seeing it again. So the fractal bookmark. Now, I had mentioned last week that um, I wasn't able to get it framed. Sorry for the glare coming off the windows, but the light is important. Um, I wasn't able to get it framed like I want, wanted with just the black simple frame up close to the stitching. The frame shop could not do a frame that was um, smaller than four inches. They couldn't do the cut smaller than, than four inches. So we did this black fabric mat which I am thrilled with. And then I had mentioned kind of a bronze frame with black splotches. Well, that's what I meant. Cool, huh? Still simple. Pulls out kind of like these colors in here, all through here. I just, oh, still simple. Still lets the stitching shine. Museum glass. So yeah, there is a glare from, you know, those big windows, but museum glass, so it's not too bad in general circumstances. Thrilled. Just in love. In love. If I'm looking over there all the time, you know what I'm looking at. It's so pretty. So, stitching this week. I'm continuing to work on Jane Marshall, about an hour a day. I didn't get to it yesterday. I haven't got to it yet today, but it is only, what I say, 10.30 in the morning. So I have the bottom band mostly done. I am using my conversion to Mrs. Sadis Floss. And if you are interested in my color conversion, you will find it on my website, madforyarn.com. I do have a page called Color Conversions where I keep all of that information. Now I do have to update this a bit. Um, is it this one that I have to update? No, not this one. Bloomtopia, I changed one of the colors. but I'm not gonna talk about that this week. I am going to encourage you to join into Bloomtopia if you haven't though, that starts February 1st. And I do have a blog post on that that I will be <laughs> linking below. Talk about a bunny trail. I know that wasn't a very long one. So anyways, an hour a day. I'm not in a rush to get this done. I'm happy to touch it an hour a day. There were several of you that said you'd really like on my um, silk video yesterday that said you'd like to see me stitching with silk after I you know, showed those ones that I have. Maybe I'll do this one on my Stitch With Me this Friday. I know if I do a Stitch With Me, I'm really gonna try. I plan on it. Um, Hopefully Mike won't be staying home or coming home at some odd hour. Um, so yeah, but like I said, stitching with silk is the same as stitching with cotton when you come right down to it. But anyways, my um, little lightweight needle minder that I made, it is really, really working well for stitching in hand when you really need a needle minder. Carolyn asked if I was going to sell these on my website make more. I, I do plan on making more and maybe, hopefully, I will get faster as I do more and as I kind of get a feel for how to put them together and the kind of things I want to add to them, you know, to, to kind of make the layers. There's not a lot of room to do a whole lot. But still, this one took an hour of my time and I usually charge 
around $25 an hour, $30 an hour for my time on anything that I'm doing. So that's quite an expensive little needle minder. The materials are like nothing. Probably the most expensive is the magnets and that's still like nothing. So it's not like the materials cost anything, it's my time. Um, so I don't know whether anybody would wanna spend that much on a needle minder. So anyway, shades of gold. Speaking of Mrs. Seda's floss, and yeah, I guess I've done this enough in Stitch With Me's Stitching With Silk, so you could certainly watch any of my working on shades of gold to see working with silk. I had planned on getting that center medallion done before I put it down, and I did. And I am in love. I mean, that, it just, oh, it just shines. That fabric just shines. The contrast with the turquoise. I'm really impressed with my color choice. I know, I'm silly. I really need to, look at the ed edge there. I really need to sew that, don't I? Yeah, I keep thinking that every time I pick it up to stitch on it and then don't do not do it when I'm up here. Anyways, I wanted to get that center medallion done and I did, thrilled with it. So this, um, this got put away. The next time I pick it up, I am going to start working on this border over here and going to try and get, let me fold this up here. I'm gonna try and get down and like this area done so that I can kind of have the top half of the piece totally done. Shades of gold. I know, not so gold. And you know, I could kick myself. Seven point three earthquake strikes near Jamaica and Cuba. What is it with all the earthquakes in the islands area? And yes, the Puerto Rico thing, I'm still working on um, more on that when I do my shop update. Anyway, when I pulled this fabric out and did the calculations, if I remember correctly, it came out that I would just barely have enough room. And that's why I have such small borders over here because I, I was afraid I would run out of room. Look how much I have left. It's rather frustrating because I, I would like to have well, I'm not going to be able to, but because look at, look at that. Look how close that is up there. I would like to have more of this fabric showing, but unfortunately, me and math are not always the best of friends. Anyway, shades of gold. So this is going to get put away or it has been put away until next month when I can pull it out again. Not sure exactly when. It's going to be time to get back to um, time for seasons pretty soon because we're almost in February. All right, so when I finished the shades of gold, my plan was to pull out English Garden again, the one that I started on Christmas Day. Well, that got waylaid, and now we're kind of segueing into, well, a little bit into shop update. Maybe I'll hold that. That segued into something else, into a design I'm working on, but I wanna save that for the end in case there's any of you that aren't interested in that. Um, so I'll, I'll work, go to haul right now. Hardly got anything. Um, didn't get any patterns this week, which was fine because I was, because I was kind of getting a lot there for a while. Um, I don't think I got any. Yeah, I didn't. Um, but I did get, more important than anything is, well, wait, back up. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I don't have notes. Um, ben Franklin here was having a sale on floss. They very rarely have a sale on floss. 10 for $5, still not the best price, um, but better than what their regular price is. I think theirs here, 56 is the regular retail on the mainland. I think it's like 59 or 60 or somewhere around in here. In, in there, so 50 cents a piece basically, which I only needed some odds and ends. Um, so I got 10, um, but worked out perfectly. While I was there, I found some other cute things. This cute little bird, look how pretty he is. With that floral design on him. So he's going to go in my tray in the spring. 
And then I got this little bowl. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. It's just a little tiny, pretty wood bowl. I'll put stuff in it, sitting next to my stitchy place, and it'll make me happy. So, that is that little bit. Now, the really great thing I got. So, my dear friend Raquel, Mrs. Sadus, had sent me a Christmas present. She had put it in the mail December 5th. Plenty of time to get here before Christmas. Usually, I get stuff from her from Spain to Hawaii in eight days. That's like the multiple packages I've gotten from her in the past. That's how quickly it's gotten here. I just got this last week, this package. So December 5th till middle of January. It was in, it made it to San Francisco January 12th and then took another week and a half to get across the ocean and up here into the mountains of Oahu. <laughs> it's just, just insane. Um, but well, well worth the wait. You should see this gorgeousness I have in front of me. <sighs> you are gonna see it. How lucky are you? So special little Christmas colors, beautiful burgundy, dark, deep red and dark, deep evergreen. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Then she sent me three sets of her other Christmas tree set, and they all have these little needle minders attached. Ooh. So again, really, really fun Christmassy colors. You can see the green and the red are just a little bit brighter than this green and red. And then this awesome, gold and gray. So I have three sets of these. I am keeping one. So I have two as giveaways. Um, I don't know when. <laughs> I just reached 7,000 subscribers. I'm not going to do any giveaways, like I said, until I get into San Antonio. So look for these as part of the giveaway then. Then she sent me all of her other new ones that I didn't have yet. So I kind of have them separated in color groups here. The pinks. And I want you to check out, whoops, get back here. Look at this one. It is a mixture of cream and pink. How gorgeous is that? This is going to find a way into my spring design that I'm working on. <sighs> Raquel, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So those are the pinks. We have the neutrals and a yellow. So let me put this this way because we can't have them out of order. Green to dark. Look how pretty. Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then we have the peaches. I'm not sure whether this should have been with the pinks or the peaches, but anyway. Ah, hold one. Look at those. If any of you are on the fence about trying silks, or you just want to try a little skein, get one of Raquel's. I mean, you will not be disappointed, either in the color or in the experience with silk. Blues. And again, these are just additions to what she already has in her line and greens. So yeah, so pretty. Her line is growing and growing and growing and I can't recommend her enough. You know that. 
I was so excited to finally get this. And the mailman that came that, that delivered that day, he was a sub. Um, the regular mailman is used to bringing packages from other countries to me to sign for, you know, all the Russian stuff that I'm getting. This new one, he wasn't sure which apartment was mine, was the 304. I guess it's flipped in the other buildings. I don't know. But I, I saw him park. And of course, it had said, I've been watching the tracking out for delivery. I knew it was coming. So I'd seen him park down on the street. And he came up to our floor and he walked like we have an opening. There's four apartments on each floor and there's like an opening courtyard area in between. So I saw him walk down the corridor, the the other side of the of the opening out here and then come back around. And he started to pass by. You know, I had this door open. We have the screen door and he started to pass by and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Like, you're not getting away with my package. <laughs> I've been waiting for that for too long for you to just take it back and say, I couldn't find the apartment. Anyways, that's all I got this week, just a little bit. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, at the beginning of the video are um, some of the shots from the Big Island. We did go there this past weekend, just a day trip on Saturday to hit the national park that we had missed went back up to Volcano to, we had not had a stamp or something. You know, we're trying to get all the stamps and the pins from the national parks. So we spent the day just, we just basically drove around the island. Um, so the video at the beginning is from the big island. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now, shop update. So like I said, Shades of Gold, I was supposed to transition over to the English Garden. But I woke up one night, you remember the trivet I saw, I showed you with the kind of mid-century modern design on it? I woke up at like four o'clock in the morning one, one evening, one night, and I couldn't get it out of my mind. So I got up and started working on that. Got it all designed, and of course, then I had to start stitching it. And you know, I don't think I'm gonna be doing sneak peeks. <laughs> I have no problem with showing you what I'm working on. It's not like I'm ever going to go to market. So, um, this is what I have so far. So let me get, show you the design real quick. It's, I don't think anybody will be able to do anything with the chart like this. There is color to it. Um, the color is not on the chart. So, hold on one second. There, there is some color in the design on the trivet as well. It wasn't very bright. What I had done was, um, I knew I wanted spots of color, but the majority of it to be that bold black outline. So I went on Pinterest and did a search on um, mid-century modern color palette and found one that was fairly simple that I liked. So my colors are, this is 3820. This is 3761, of course, black, and 415. So a very simple palette, not too glaringly 50s, 60s, but um, still very, very strong colors um, to keep it strong and bold and simple. Now I had originally thought that this would be a good design, design to use. Do you remember when I got this? dyed fabric from, this is from Mommy Loves You GB, the Etsy store in the UK. This was one of my giveaways a number of subscribers ago. I originally thought this would be great because there's so much empty space showing through the design. But then I got to thinking and I cut, I had this the piece of material that was bigger and I cut it for this. Um, but then I got to thinking, this is more like 60s, 70s psychedelic rather than the clean, sharp, modern um, of mid-century modern. So instead, I went back to my stash and found just kind of a warm, this is Sheep's Straw by r, r Reproductions. This is a 32 count. So I just found something still with those warm tones. So yeah. This has been getting a lot of my attention because I want to get this done. This will be my model. Um, 
so I can get that design up in the store. I don't know whether anybody else will be thrilled with this type of aesthetic as I am. It's not like, I love mid-century modern architecture. I would be thrilled to get a mid-century modern house in San Antonio. I would also be thrilled to get a craftsman house in San Antonio. Um, I'd be thrilled to get a house, to be there looking for a house at this point. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I hope there's a couple of you out there that think it's cool. It's probably bigger than, um, it's gonna take two skeins, almost two skeins of the black, even though most of it is just a single outline. There are a few places where it's, you know, three or four deep stitches, but for the most part, it's just big. It's, I'm bigger than maybe some people would like. It's gonna be a bold design. Speaking of big, the Puerto Rico design, as I told you, um, I did have somebody stitching it, stitching the model, and we decided that it is too big. You know, I think that's my, my biggest challenge at this point as a kind of beginning designer is keeping the designs small enough so that they're um, more doable by reasonable people, unlike me. <laughs> you know, I have no problem with big designs. So I hope to get some time today to work on the Puerto Rico one again and um, make it a little smaller. Since it is a charity one, I don't want people to be scared off from the size of it. So I'll be working on that today. Um, still working on the spring one. I had another custom design that I will get finished today. Um, so yeah, and, and oh, my head is exploding with ideas. The same thing happened with me um, in the digital scrapbooking world. Everything I saw gave me an idea for a design. And that this, my my design brain is triggered again, and so everything I can't do them all, but I'm gonna try. Anyways, that is really all I have for you today. This isn't a very long video. Oh, it's about a half hour. That's a good length. Um, card time. She's a pretty one. Again, these are, are Teresa Kogut's angel cards. Life isn't always easy, but a positive attitude mixed with prayer and gratitude will determine how quickly we overcome difficulties. Sometimes that's easier said than done. There are so many people hurting right now. Um, like I said, Leanne's family, the helicopter crash with Kobe Bryant and his family and the other coach and his family, there was the helicopter crash here a few weeks ago, all lives lost, newlywed and another father and a couple and daughters. Um, friend of mine whose father had to have her, his leg amputated. Um, another girl in the, in the, our community here, our cross stitch community whose parents are ailing that she has been dealing with. Um, Darlene, I love you. You know, I got your back. Um, just a lot of people hurting, a lot of uncertainty out there in the world right now. Again, more earthquakes in the, in the Caribbean, the virus in China that has people, you know, I don't know what the death count is at this point, but, um, it's something to be worried about. So positive attitude, gratitude, prayer, all of that, um, Know that I'm thinking of you. Know that um, we gotta pull together. We gotta pull together. Stay together, hold tight, smile as much as we can, laugh as much as we can, and just hope tomorrow's a better day, right? I know for some of these, it's gonna be quite a few tomorrows before it's a better day. Believe me, I've been there. On that note, I got your back too. I love you. I am so thankful for you and so thankful for you being here. As of this point, I plan on being here for, on Friday for a stitch with me. You never know what life is going to throw me. Nothing major. Nothing major. Um, I may just feel lazy. <laughs> and that's okay. 
Sometimes I do, and I don't feel like making a video, and so I don't. If I'm not here on Friday, I will, I will be back next Monday for a Basics of Cross Stitch. Until then, have a fantastic week, and I will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.